Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in all the channels of Windows 11 Insider Preview, that Microsoft has rolled out in the monthly cumulative updates, known as Patch Tuesday, for all supported Windows versions. These updates usually fix known issues and address vulnerabilities. So, without further ado, let's begin. There is a new energy recommendation to turn off high dynamic range, this helps to conserve energy on devices that have HDR displays. First go to Settings, then System, under Power and Battery select Energy Recommendations. When you open the Start menu, the Sign Out option is now on the Account Manager, to change to a different user, select the three dots in the corner, and a list of other users will appear to make it easier to switch for the users. This update adds the option to turn off Enhanced Mouse Pointer Precision in the Settings app of Bluetooth and Devices section, then select Mouse. There is also a new option to change the direction in which the mouse scrolls. The WebView 2 apps do not detect input from Xbox 360 and Bluetooth controllers. When your device battery power is running low, a pop-up window will appear that asks you to plug in your device. This occurs when the battery level reaches 20%, and Energy Saver is set to Always On. In Task Manager, the settings page might have a white background when it should not. It also stops responding, when you switch from a high contrast theme to a normal theme. When a combo box has input focus, a memory leak might occur when you close that window. This update adds attributions to text files for Rust OSS components. You can now manage your Copilot Pro subscription in Settings, sign into your Microsoft account and go to Settings, then select Accounts. The non-visual desktop access app and other screen readers fail to narrate all the screen content from some apps, this occurs when those apps run with administrator privileges. Media controls will now show in the lower part of the lock screen at the center, when a media is being played. The remote desktop gateway service stops responding, this occurs when a service uses remote procedure, and calls over HTTP, because of this, the clients that are using the service get disconnected. You can now share local files directly from the search results that appear in the search box on the taskbar. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.